Now, speaking of powerful agencies in the defense sphere, my next guest, Senator Tom Cotton, is investigating Raytheon, one of the biggest U.S. defense contractors out there over its use of training materials that, yes, promote critical race theory. In a letter to the company's chairman and CEO, Cotton, writing in part, Title VI of the Civil Rights Act ensures that no person in the U.S. shall, on the ground of race, color, or national origin, be subjected to discrimination under any program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Joining me now is Senator Tom Cotton, member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator Cotton, um, the, the defense industry is, is no different from any of these other big corporations that are under enormous pressure to bow down to the left on this. But how much worse is it when U.S. tax tax dollars are keeping a lot of these companies afloat to teach people to basically hate the country at its core? Well, Laura, this week it's Raytheon. You know, a few weeks ago, uh, I had a similar exchange with Lockheed Martin. I suspect if you probed in some of the other major defense contractors, you'd find very similar kinds of training materials. In fact, the Raytheon CEO today wrote back and said that Raytheon is not conducting any training that most other major American corporations yeah. conduct. Um, sadly, sadly, I, I think he's right about that. Yeah. But that's not a defense of Raytheon. That's an indictment of corporate America. It's one thing, though, if Coca-Cola does nonsense like this and turns people off from their sugary beverages. Uh, it's a whole different thing, though, if the companies who are building the weapons and the equipment to keep our troops safe and defend our nation, who get the lion's share of their revenues from American taxpayers are doing these things. Uh, Senator, I want to bring up something that I, I, of all the disturbing things that I've seen over the last just three days, um, Tony Blinken, the Secretary of State, is continuing this Biden habit of, of either bashing America as racist on the world stage, apologizing for America implicitly here. Uh, he tweeted last night that responsible nations must not shrink from scrutiny of their human rights record. Rather, they should be transparent with the intent to grow and do better. That's why I'm announcing a formal invitation for UN Special Rapporteur on contemporary forms of racism to visit the U.S. Senator, we're inviting the U.N. to come in to conduct some, quote, investigation. Afterward, they're just going to trash us and equate us with, well, actually trash us and give a pass, as usual, to countries like China. Yeah, totally pathetic, Laura. Tony Blinken, like his boss, Joe Biden, is sticking a kick me sign on Uncle Sam's back here. They should tell that rapporteur to pack his bags and head straight to China, where China is committing genocide against religious and ethnic minorities, where they are engaged in the systematic sterilization of minority women so they can't reproduce, or, barring that, the systematic rape of them so they produce Han Chinese. To say nothing of what they've done to Hong Kong over the last year, or to Christians who are simply trying to worship God in their homes throughout China. That's where the UN should be focusing on human rights abuses. They should not be coming to the United States, and it's disgraceful that Joe Biden and Tony Blinken have asked them to do so. But Senator, doesn't this have an actual effect on our national security, our Secretary of State, by, uh, by allowing this to happen on U.S. soil with the U.N. and their track record on, on human rights, looking the other way on North Korea and Cuba and uh, obviously with China? H how does this help our national security? Back to my angle uh, theme. Well, Laura, it doesn't help us at all. And you're right that the United Nations often have nations like Cuba and North Korea sitting on their Human Rights Council. And it's simply another way to undermine uh, the faith and the confidence that the American people have in our government that they are up to such nonsense. It's kind of like teaching critical race theory in the military when you're telling our young soldiers that the most important thing about them is the color of their skin, that some uh, races are inherently privileged and others are inherently victimized. Well, that's not something that a lot of them raised their hand and took an oath to defend. Yeah. Yeah. This I mean, is, you shouldn't be surprised if you yeah. if you have recruiting right. rates fall and retention rates fall as well. Yeah, this is going to help our diplomacy big time overseas. Senator, thank you.